Hi, this is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. In this video of custom FreshBooks training, I'm going to show you how to enter a receipt into your FreshBooks. When you're in FreshBooks, in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on Create New, and then I'm going to go down to Expense. Now that I have the new expense open, I can start filling it in. Starting in the upper left, I have a gray box that says Add Category. When I click on that, it's going to show me the drop down list of the accounts in my chart of accounts. I cannot edit these chart of accounts, so I need to pick an account that makes the most sense for the reason for my purchase. Let's pretend that we had some advertising. So I'm just going to select on Advertising. Over to the right, if I have a receipt, I can drag and drop or I can select and attach the file here. Attaching the receipt to FreshBooks does not OCR the receipt. It merely gives the receipt a place to be so that you're organized. You don't need to put your receipts in FreshBooks. I do encourage you to have a system to organize and keep your receipts electronically. Just below that, it says what's the date. We'll say that this expense happened today and then add vendor. So I'm gonna look for a vendor. Let's say that we did some Facebook advertising. Add a description, we can say, um, cool new ad campaign. Should have picked something I could spell. Cool new ad campaign. This description is only for us. It's not gonna make or break anything as far as the accounting goes. At the very bottom of my screen, where it says grand total, there's a Ray 0, 0.00, I can indicate how much money I spent on my Facebook advertising campaign. In this example, I'm going to say $50. Over to the right, I can mark it as billable or not. If this was something I was going to bill out to a customer later, I'd say yes. In my example, it's not. If this was recurring, uh, for example, if it's a software subscription you have every month, I can set it up to be recurring. I can change my currency if I need to, but I'm going to leave it as USD. And I can indicate whether or not this is part of my cost of goods sold. In this example, it is not. So now I can just click the green save on the top of my screen. When my imaginary expense downloads from the bank in my FreshBooks, FreshBooks will connect the downloaded transaction with the transaction that I've just entered. I hope this helps you understand how to add expenses to your FreshBooks. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, send me an email, or schedule an appointment. Thank you so much for watching.